I would sling a whole pig over my shoulder, carry it to our pit, and throw it on the grill. And at that point, I told everybody that they were not allowed to give me shit for being vegan. I'm Chris Rubenstein. I'm a chef at the Wild Goose Tavern in Costa Mesa, California with the Culinary Militia. Today, I'm gonna to show you guys how to make a vegan pulled trumpet mushroom barbecue sandwich. A lot of vegans miss out on some good food and you guys catch a lot of flack because a lot of what you cook isn't very good. So today, I'm gonna to show you how to smoke the mushrooms, pull them, make the sandwich, and impress some of your friends. So for this dish, first thing you're gonna need is about a pound of trumpet mushrooms. They're also called king oyster mushrooms. Go to any Asian market, go to the mushroom section, you're gonna find them. Take your favorite barbecue sauce, about a cup of that, one head of kale. You're gonna need one cup of vegan mayonnaise, a red onion, half a cup of apple cider vinegar, four tablespoons of sugar, a tablespoon of crushed red pepper, two carrots, and four rolls. And to saute the mushrooms, we're gonna need two tablespoons of oil, don't use olive oil because it has a low smoke point. You're gonna end up burning it and you really don't want that flavor. Just use vegetable oil, soybean oil, canola, whatever you like to use. And the last thing you're gonna need is about two cups of wood chips soaked in water, about half an hour. I like to use apple for this dish because it's a little lighter when you're gonna smoke vegetables. You're gonna smoke meat, you wanna use hickory, mesquite, things like that. So apple or cherry is what I like to use. So the first step in the process, we're gonna smoke the mushrooms. So we're gonna go outside of the grill and do that. So depending upon what kind of grill you have, you can do this a couple of different ways. Today we just have a standard gas grill, so we're gonna use a smoking box. If you had a charcoal grill, you could just take these guys, put them straight on the coals, and smoke them that way. So we're gonna take the chips, open up your box, just spread them out nice and evenly. Just stick them in the hottest part of the grill, and that's gonna take about 10, 15 minutes before they start smoking. So you want to crank the grill up all the way to high, let it get to about six, 700 degrees, the hotter the better. Wood chips have to dry out first before they start smoking, so we're starting to get a little bit of smoke now, and it should be ready in about five minutes. I actually started cooking because I went vegan. My mom is a phenomenal cook, but when I decided to become vegan, I was about 17, I was still living at home, and she kind of gave up. So I started cooking for myself, and when it came time after high school to figure out what I want to do with my life, I decided I wanted to be a chef. All right, so we're about ready. We're gonna check it. We're getting a lot of good smoke. The chips are nice and brown. What I would do is put them on the top rack if you have a, if you have a rack like that in your grill. Just break them apart. Drop the lid and let it go for about 20 minutes or so. One thing you wanna be careful of when you're doing this on the grill is not to burn the mushrooms. Just keep an eye on them once you put the mushrooms in. They're gonna get dark, they're gonna get smoky, they're gonna get cooked, but don't burn them. All right, so while the mushrooms are smoking, we're gonna come back inside and start working on the kale slaw. First thing you do, take your kale, show you a little trick, is just pull it off like that. Then what we're gonna do, this is a technique called chiffonade. You're gonna take your green, roll it up, and take your knife, and just really thin, just, as you're going, just put your kale in the bowl. So I'm gonna assume everybody out there knows how to peel a carrot. Use a peeler, so I already peeled these. Just take a cheese grater. So I decided to do a kale slaw just because I love kale. I think everybody loves kale. Just try different stuff. Don't always use cabbage. Just try to think in different ways. It's also really healthy for you. And one thing to always remember when you're cutting, tuck your thumb in. I went ahead and sliced my thumb this morning just to show you guys that can happen to anybody. The julienne onion, cut it in half. I like to cut it in half again, just for size. All right, so it's been about 20, 30 minutes. We're gonna go check on the mushrooms. Yep. All right, these are looking good. We're gonna go back inside and shred them. All right, so the mushrooms are ready. We're gonna keep making the slaw. So this is, good. this is the dressing for the slaw. We're gonna start with our vegan mayonnaise. You're gonna need one cup of vegan mayonnaise, half a cup of apple cider vinegar, four tablespoons of sugar, and a tablespoon of crushed red pepper. Take a whisk, just get it all together. We're gonna take all the vegetables that we chopped up and just pour the dressing right over. And the vinegar is gonna help break down the kale and make it nice and soft and edible. And then take your clean hands, give it a toss. You can kind of crunch up the kale too, that's gonna to help break down the fibers, so you're not gonna get a big mouth full of just raw kale. That's done, we're gonna let that sit on the side and let that kind of marinate and break down a little bit. Now to shred the mushrooms. Just gonna take the mushroom, just take a regular household fork, and we're just gonna scrape them down like this. They look like little squids. 
and take your fork and just mash the top part. So if you try to eat this before we're finished, it's not gonna be very good. It's gonna taste like you ate a campfire. Once we cook it with the barbecue sauce, the smoke is gonna mellow out and introduce itself into the sauce and it's gonna be really delicious. All right, so we're almost done. The next step is we're gonna sauce the mushrooms. Two tablespoons of vegetable oil. So our pan's nice and hot. We'll grab the mushrooms. We're gonna throw right in the pan. That's an awesome sound. Then we're gonna grab our barbecue sauce. And then just flip them around, get them nice and coated, heat it all the way through. And if you don't feel comfortable sauteing, you don't have those skills yet, use a spoon. Just move them around, get them nice and coated. You want the barbecue sauce to caramelize a little bit and stick to the mushrooms and not the pan. All right, so let's assemble the sandwich. I like to start with the slaw on the bottom. Help soak up the barbecue sauce, doesn't get your bun all soggy. And then the barbecue right on top of that. There you go. And that is your smoked pulled trumpet mushroom sandwich. It's messy, but pretty damn good. Thanks for joining me. If you want to check out the recipe for my barbecued pulled trumpet mushroom sandwich, click on the link below.